Welcome to Highfield Cottage. It's a bit of a quirky garden that's taken the best part of 20 years to develop. In the front, we've got this lovely mixed border down the side and I think it looks particularly lovely this year with the tulips. I've had quite a lot of success with those this year and I was very keen to capture everything before it started to fall over and finish. Going this way around the front, you'll see we've got the topiary. These topiary were one of the first things that my husband did when he moved in. Um, the yew is stripped back to the um, trunk and then developed them over the years. And we've got a couple of faces that laugh when it's windy. Some of the kids around here call it monster cottage. So you'll notice in the garden as we go around there's quite a lot of sculpture and I tend to make these to fit the space, so it's all my own work and uh, I get inspired really to do the sculpture according to what gap I'm trying to fill. The tulips are just beautiful this year, really lovely. I like to use white in the garden because it stands out well against the green. I try to play about a bit with the perspective in the garden by clipping all the U different sizes. So these are my vegetable beds. Full of onions and beetroot and fabulous, fabulous rhubarb. And this is my uh, peacock, which I'm very proud of, this I made. All the topiary are made out of one bush. Here's my elephant. There's my squirrel. It's sexy little eyelashes. Dog. It's a bird. It's quite new. And there's a snail. This one is just the shape, which I quite liked. 